Hello and welcome to Piano Shack with me, Woody. Thank you so much for tuning in. Recently then, I did a video featuring a synthesizer that's free to download right now. But in this video, I really wanted to pay tribute and feature some of the synthesizers that have always been free and probably always will be. Okay, I'm sure many of you will be able to guess at least what two of my three choices are. If you think you can guess right now what the three synths are that I'm going to pick, then leave a little note down in the comments. It'll be fun to see if you got it right. Now, the first one then is a bit of a no-brainer. The second one also a bit of a no-brainer, but the third pick I had real difficulty choosing. We'll see if you uh, like my choice or not. But let's start off with number one. This is a bit of a classic. I think most of you that know me and have watched this channel for a while can guess what this is going to be. I'm going to play a little bit for you now and let's see if you can guess what it was or guess what it is then I'll reveal to you what the VST synthesizer plugin is that we're going to enjoy together right now. at the end that noisy sound might give you a bit of a clue what kind of synthesizer technology we're using here what kind of synthesis let me play you a few more patches and see if you can guess what this is <laughs> Okay, some rhythm sounds. There's a bit of extra reverb added here as well. You might be able to see I'm sending some of this to a reverb track because I don't have any reverb on this particular synthesizer. Some nice bells. sound doesn't give it away, then nothing will. One more. Oh, one more then. Oh, this is nice. show you what this mystery synthesizer is. <laughs> yes, I'm sure most of you guessed this was Dex Ed, the Yamaha DX7 FM synthesizer emulation. This is a really pretty sound. Unlike the original DX7, this one has a filter. <laughs> Very nice. Let's play a few more sounds. Yeah, the DX7 did those really well. So I'm playing for you now a bank of 32 presets that were made specifically for Dexed, and these are the ones that you get when you download and install the plugin. It's actually a tiny plugin in size as well. It's absolutely minuscule by today's standards. So these are the presets you get, but the strength of this plugin, I think, is that it's compatible with the thousands, if not tens of thousands, probably hundreds of thousands 
of patches that were created for the DX7 and all the other Yamaha FM synthesizers as well. This will play them. Not sure about the four op FM synths, come to think about it, but it will certainly play the six operator ones without any problems at all. But I've just stuck to the DX7 sounds myself. Uh, you can download those. I did a video all about it, showing you how to do it. Download the sounds and load them up here on Dexed, and they do sound exactly the same as the DX7. We've done many clinical comparisons on this channel demonstrating exactly that. So that's Dexed there. It's also a DX7 editor. You can use this as an external PC editor for a DX7 that you have connected up. So you can use this interface instead of the tiny little LCD on the screen here. I don't know exactly how all these controls work, to be honest, I can get the basics done, but you can see we've got six blocks here. Our six operators are, are sort of configured up here. The algorithms between them, which is all about FM synthesis, you have carriers and modulators, which algorithms you used are described down here. We can switch between them, let's see what happens. Get some very dramatic effects just by changing the algorithms. And get a, a nice visual representation as well here. What's going on? Of course, you can see the graphics for all the envelopes. So this is infinitely easier to program than the DX7. And we have a bunch of extra features as well. As I said earlier, we have, let's go to a different sound. That's nice. We have a resonant feature, a resonant filter that's added as a feature here on Dexit. <laughs> yeah, these Dexed presets showcase quite nicely the wide variety of sounds you can get from FM synthesis. Highly recommend everybody to download have a bit of fun playing the DX7 library on Dexed. I've tried to pick three synthesizers with completely different architectures, so we get a wide variety of sounds to choose from today. So we've done the FM digital synthesis. Let's take a look at another synthesizer category. This synthesizer is a complete legend. This VST plugin is one of the icons. Uh, it should definitely be on your radar, your watch list. I've been using it for years myself. I think many of you can guess what this is as well. Here's a demonstration. A few more patches. Okay, this synthesizer can obviously do a wide variety of sonic palettes. Oh, bass. Again, I'm routing it through the, uh, sending a bit of the audio to a extra reverb track here. This synthesizer doesn't have reverb built in, although it does have delays and some other effects like distortion, bit crushers. Nice bass. Another one, oops. Oh, another one. Nice weight there. Yeah, an 
an interesting selection of presets here. This is actually a third party sound bank that I've loaded into this particular synth. Yeah. So this synthesizer is an absolute legend amongst VST synthesizers. It's probably the most downloaded VST synthesizer of all time. Have you guessed what it is? Let's do the reveal. Yes, of course, this is Synth One by Ichoro Toda. I hope I'm saying that right, a Japanese gentleman. Who made this, released this? I reckon it was maybe 2007. I should have checked, but uh, certainly more than 10 years ago. And you can see this version here is from 2014. That's the latest release, but it is available 64 bit, beta three. It's been in beta for six years, but it's absolutely wonderful. Let me play you another sound. <laughs> So this synthesizer is a virtual analog. It's actually modeled very closely on the Nord leads, I'm led to believe. You know, those red synthesizers that we all love. But this is a free version in a VST. So if we like, take a look at the basic architecture, there's actually three oscillators. So that's more, I think, than the Nord lead has. There's one, two, three and a sub oscillator somewhere as well, which I saw recently, but there is, there's a sub -os oscillator there. So four oscillators, I guess. You can run it through an amplifier here, which is your envelope for the amps. And then we have filters with a variety of different filter models as well. Down here we have the LFOs and an arpeggiator as well. So this one has got you covered with all the basics for your VA synthesis. filter to the to the knobs here on the Roland A49. Now, the strength of this particular synthesizer, since it is so popular and has been around for such a long time, there are thousands upon thousands, maybe even millions of presets available for this one, and all of them are available for downloads online. You can find them on various internet forums if you search enough. Uh, you can download zip files containing hundreds of thousands of patches for this. I've got many of them loaded in as well here as well. But what I would say is that it's a little bit, I've always found the preset management a little bit uh, of a struggle here. Uh, let's see if we can figure this out together. So I'm just gonna to go to the banks here. Uh, when you actually download it, you'll have to configure the location of the preset folders, for example. And by default, I think, let's see if we've got that. Yeah, by default, you get a preset bank with all of the general MIDI sounds. It's actually, or an emulation of the general MIDI sounds, more or less. Which are kind of fun, but they don't really showcase what this synthesizer is really capable of. But they are a nice starting point. But then you can go ahead and download from the internet thousands of patches. You just point out where the zip files are. We got them here. You give it, you configure the location of the directory containing all of the zip files with the patches, and then you can browse through them. I've got, as you can see, quite a few of them here. Okay, this is the kind of thing I was looking for on this total collection zip file that I've downloaded. And I, I won't share the download links for these. You just have to go and find them yourselves, but I don't think that'll be too hard. You can see I've expanded it here. We have hundreds and hundreds of banks and each bank contains up to 128 presets. It's nice that you can color code them as well. I haven't seen that in any other synthesizer, but that's really nice. Let's just pick one of these. So 
yeah, you can see you can get lost for hours browsing the patches here, but don't expect any nice preset or patch categorization filters or organization. It's a little bit messy, and one of the struggles I do have with this synthesizer, actually, is it, is it just me? Do let me know down in the comments. Other things to note, which is really nice with this synthesizer, it might look huge to you, but I've scaled it up now so that we can really see what's going on here on the little window here on the screen. But this actually, way back in 2014 and before, had options to scale the window size. So you could make it smaller if you wanted, or larger, depending on your own preferences. That's something you don't even see on expensive, professional, commercial VSTs today. So that's really nice. Also, you can change the colour theme as well. Which is also something, you can skin this however you want it, which is also something you don't see on commercial synths. So, big props for this synthesizer. Not only does it sound great, uh, but it looks great, and there's a huge library of sounds available for it. And if you're a beginner looking to get into synthesizers, programming, uh, synthesis, learning how the oscillators, amps, filters, envelopes, everything like that works together, then I don't think there's a better synthesizer to learn on than Synth1. And it's completely free. So thank you ever so much to the fantastic developer that made and released this synthesizer for free. Highly recommended. So the first two synthesizers were no-brainer picks. Quite easy and obvious choices, I think. But for the third one, I've been scratching my head a little bit about what to choose here, but I think I've gone for something that's worthy of the third place. But let's just mention a few synthesizers that didn't quite make it to the list, but should definitely be on your watch list, on your radar of free synths to check out. Yuhi, that's U-H-E, I think that's how you say it, have some really nice free synths. There's one called Tyrell, there's a stripped down version of some of their flagship synths as well, so definitely go check those out, they are all really nice as far as I've read anyway, I haven't tried them myself. Then there are Tal, that's T-A-L, they also have some really nice free synths, I've used many of them for years and I also use many of their paid synths as well. They have one they have a Juno 6 emulation as well, and something they call Tal Noise Maker, which is a really nice synthesizer as well. And then there's a new one on the scene called Surge, with a lot, which a lot of people are raving about, but I've yet to try them myself. So if you have tried it, let me know in the comments what you think, and if you'd like to see me investigate it in a video. Here is my number three pick then. It's a bit of an oddball choice, I think, but I just love the way this thing sounds. Here's a quick demonstration. Okay, so we have obviously a very interesting synthesis, synthesis, easy for you to say, technique going on here. Let me play for you some other patches. Obviously, this is very good for doing chimey, ethereal pads. Let's do a couple more. Oh! Now, this one does have its own reverb, so I can probably... Let's pull the reverb down on that track. So not only does it do nice bells, it does pretty nice basses. More bells.
Okay, any guesses what this is? Well, it's time for the reveal. So yes, did you guess? This is the fabulous sounding micro prism from Native Instruments running in Reactor. And yes, this is completely free and I'll explain how to get it in just a second. But yes, it does sound unlike anything you'll get with the FM synthesis or the virtual analog that we explored earlier in this video. Sorry about your ears there. Um, and I'm not even sure what synthesis technique this is using, actually. It's some kind of physical modeling of bells, plucked instruments, mallets and things, but then run through this modal spectrum bank, I think they call it, that gives you a lot of different frequencies and harmonics that you can adjust. I've got this mapped here. I'll do it on the screen. Ah, no, you can see what we're doing. And that little display in the middle is showing you the harmonics as they are sounding in real time. Pretty nice. Although I don't really understand it. But who cares? It sounds great. I've also mapped this to the filter. So yeah, you can get some lovely pads with this. It comes with 70 presets, which is more than enough to get you started because you can tweak them quite a lot to get really different sounds. I mean, compare this with this. <laughs> really interesting. It's got some nice effects built in as well. You can see them here on the bottom. And this is also a bit strange if we enable this. got something completely different. Well, similar. I should really read the manual, I suppose, but on the other hand, I don't really care. It just sounds good. And by manipulating these controls, I get some interesting, really beautiful sounds. Yeah, I switched off the external effects, so you are hearing the reverb coming from this. Let's turn it up, and the echo. Also, an interesting cabinet simulation, which is a bit weird in a synthesizer plugin, but there you go. Let's try it out. Okay, it gives you some nice distortion. So for cinematic soundscapes and drones, this is a real handy synthesizer to own. A couple of interesting factoids about this one then. It's actually written by the founder of Native Instruments. For some reason, I just think that's totally cool. The, the head guy in Native Instruments actually got his hands dirty writing some of these fantastic uh, plugins and VST instruments that NI offer today. This one in particular. Yes, yeah, Stephen Schmidt built this. So he's not just the manager, he's a pretty cool sound developer. An engineer as well. I also promised I'd tell you how to get this. Now there are, just like the instrument we featured in the previous video with Analog Dreams, there are a few hoops that you'll need to jump through to download and install this. You'll need to register an account with Native Instruments which is no big deal. And then you'll need to download their native access plugin manager application. Once you have that, you'll be able to download MicroPrism, but that's not enough. You'll also have to download Reactor Player, which is like the framework, the wrapper, the environment in which MicroPrism runs. This is a Reactor instrument, an ensemble, I think they're called. And Reactor is actually very, very cool because it's like a framework where you can build whatever synth comes to mind, whatever you know, your, your fantasy is the limit really. And there are hundreds of community developed synthesizers for download as well. 
plus of course all the Native Instruments ones, but please keep this in mind. To download and play the user community built synthesizers, you'll need to have the full version of Reactor. Unfortunately, I think that's really sad. It's a shame they don't play in the free version, which Native Instruments call Reactor Player. So, to get MicroPRISM working anyway, you'll need to download Reactor Player. Then you can open up MicroPRISM within the Reactor Player. Also, the free version of Reactor will also allow you to play all the other native instruments, ensembles as well. But sadly, I don't know why this is, not the community built ensembles and instruments anyway. But that's not the focus of today's video. Let's not get sidetracked. This is what I would recommend as my third choice, just because of the unique sound character of this thing. And it sounds absolutely wonderful. Let's play you a few more sounds. Soft chimes. We're definitely in the bell category. Let's carry on through. That's pretty. Really delicate, I love that. Let's see how we can manipulate it. interesting sound effect here. Let's manipulate some of these things, see what happens. If I can just find my mouse. There's... So this introduce, introduces some high harmonics. Yeah, really interesting. So if you're prepared to download all the other extra things that you need to get this to work, I highly recommend checking out MicroPRISM. So those were my top three picks for VST synths that I enjoy and I think that you should check out. But I'm sure you have your favourites as well and I'd love to hear from you. I'm sure we all would. Please go down to the comments section and leave a recommendation with your best free VST synth tips as well. But that's all for today. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again next time. Cheerio. Bye.